How you guys doing today? I wanted to come online and uh, I wanted to share with you um, something uh, that was on my heart. Uh, I was posting it as well as um, Snapchat what I was saying and the Holy Spirit said to make a video about it. And I wanted to come online to share with you how we are most definitely living in the end of times and the signs are right in front of you, but many don't want to choose to believe it. You know, it's a... Read Luke 21, Matthew 24, Mark 13. These are just a few scriptures for you to acknowledge the times that we are in. Uh, Romans, uh, excuse me, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 as well, the recklessness, the law, the thing that's going, to, the love of many are going to go wax cold. Um, and... Uh, it breaks my heart. You know, these birth pains that we increase, you know, many acknowledge it as climate change, and it's not climate change. What it is, it's birth pains. Just like the, uh, when a woman has a baby, right? It's going to increase and increase and increase uh, the pain until the birth happens of the baby, correct? So that's just, it's in just like um, how Jesus is going to return. The intensity of these pains on the earth are going to intensify until the coming of the soon uh, excuse me until the coming of jesus christ that he takes us those who are truly his living not in sin um living righteously living holy living by um his ways for his he is the way the truth and the life and no man cometh unto the father by by him you know many want to cherry pick scriptures again um, to try to justify and continue backsliding and you can't continually continue in your sin all right that means you're fully not willing to give it up the thing is the devil's gonna push you and push you and push you and he's gonna until you give in and then what is he gonna say oh what did you do he's gonna say oh you know it's okay to do this it's okay he's gonna forgive you he's gonna forgive you but then what he's gonna say after you've done it, oh, he wants nothing to do with you no more. What did you just do? And he's going to accuse you before God. He's going to accuse you say, look what he just did. And that's what he is. He's the accuser of the brethren. All right. And then first, John, excuse me, first John chapter two talks about how we should not sin. But if we sin, we have Jesus as our advocate. We have Jesus as our advocate, the righteous. And of who is a proposition for all of our sins. Okay. And, uh, but that doesn't mean we should continue in that sin. We should be reproving from that sin, changing from our ways, his ways. Repentance is a change of mind, a change of heart to live from, uh, from changing from our ways to ways to be Christ-like daily. Uh, we should not repent once and just continue in a life and, and, and continue. We should continue in a daily prayer of repentance, you know, and humble ourselves before God. You know, many say, oh, you know, if you repent, you know, and, this, this, and this. Repent. I, I repent because I, I love God so much. I'm humbling myself before Him. Okay, daily, like multiple times a day. Because I humble myself before God. Because there's no greater honor than to serve the Almighty God. There's no greater honor. And anybody could, you know, want to. And if it, I've had a lot of verbal attacks, that's the enemy trying to get to me. But I don't. I, I know my soul is the Lord's. And they can do whatever to my flesh, but my soul is the Lord's. Hallelujah. But um, I wanted to say this as well, that um, Jesus is a lawyer, like our lawyer. And no no American Bar Association can take that certificate away from him because he has won. He, the battle is already won. You know, don't keep falling because if you're falling, you're allowing the devil to enter your life. And you allow it by falling because... Jesus is not going to tempt you to where you can't handle. You, you just gave up. You just got to speak the blood. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. He must flee. He says rebuke and resist. And he must flee. The devil will flee away from you. You know, faith makes things possible. It never makes th it doesn't make things easy. One, people want to cherry pick what faith is, but it doesn't make things easier. It's going to make things a lot harder. Okay. Um, I also wanted to say this. Um, the three days of darkness is upon us. Whether people want to think it's a Catholic version, it's not. Just like Jonah, how he spent three nights in a whale's belly. Matthew, we chapter Matthew 12, it's right there. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the hearts of the earth. Um, as well, excuse me. Um, there's really no greater honor than to serve the Lord. Many people want to fear and say, oh, you know, I'm scared. I'm scared. 
but that's the enemy putting that in your mind. The battlefield is mine. You know, and I see a lot of homosexuals are, are the toughest to get because they're so stubborn to their sin. They don't want to give it up. They really think that it's okay. It's not okay. They're so blind to the truth. And if you are gay and you continue in your sin, you need to repent. Because God created man for woman and woman for man. He didn't create Adam and Steve. He created Adam and Eve. Okay. Okay. So we need, you know, God said to repopulate. He said to repopulate with a woman and a man and a man and a woman. You can't repopulate with a man and a man and a woman and a woman. Read Romans chapter 1. Uh, Leviticus, I um, uh, forget what chapter, but it talks about how if you sleep with a man as you do with a woman, that was already, actually, I have a, I have it on a screenshot that I took um, for Snapchat that I repost. Um, just give me one moment. But if you sleep with mankind as you do with a woman, you've already committed abomination. In Romans chapter 1, it talks about that as well. Uh, give me one second. All right, so in Leviticus 18, verse 22, it talks about thou shalt not lie with mankind as thou, as with womankind is an abomination. In Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13, it, it goes by this. If a man also lie with mankind, a man lie with mankind, how does that not homosexuality? They just don't want to, they want to, again, cherry pick their, their, their sins. Um, as you lie, lie with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death, and their blood shall surely be upon them. And likewise, also a man leaving the natural use of a woman burned in their lust toward one toward another, men with men, which is wor working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their own error. Which was meat. And if you read verse 26 uh, before that, let me just get my Bible. Here. Les uh, lesbians. And, uh, and I'll tell you also a scripture that talks about um, transgender in Deuteronomy 22, verse 5 as well. Um, do -do 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 -do. Just give me one moment. Romans. All right, here we go. Um, all right, so here we go. Verse 26, as I read 27, for this cause God gave them up to file afflictions, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is unseemly. Again, excuse me, that is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman burned in their own lust one toward another. Men with men working, which is unseemly, and receiving them um, selves that recompense of error, which was me. Um, you know, and God's again, he tells you he's going to give them over to your lusts because that's what you care about more than him. Um, and it's a call to your over to your retrobate mind and to do those things which are not convenient. And if you read uh, 32, because they know the Bible, a lot of them know the Bible and scriptures. And it talks about, you know, that in verse 18 as well as 19. But I'm going to read it to you, the last scripture of that as well. You know, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness um, and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has shewed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So they know that it, it, it is, and they just don't want to, they don't want to give it up. That's what it is. They don't want to give it up. And in verse uh, 20, um, excuse me, 32, it goes by this, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only to do the same, but have pleasure in them. That do that. So those people who commit the same sins are going to hang out with people that do the same sins. You get what I'm what I'm trying to say? Just give me a second so I can uh, skip, skip this ad. But um, 
they're gonna continue in the, the same sin that other people's are con people continuing in. You need to be called. God called you to be separate from the world. He called you to get out of the world. For it says in First John chapter two, um, I like First. I like the Book of John as well. You know, um, just give me one moment. Talks about, um, but also where I was. I'll, I'll tell you that in a second. Uh, what I'm about to say, but in First Timothy, excuse me, or Deuteronomy 22, verse five, for transgender, many people don't understand uh, where a transgender uh, scripture may be. And if you guys want to write it down, please, by all means, do. Excuse me. In Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse five, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man; neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. You know, many if many are feeling offended, if many are feeling like, why don't don't first of all we have a there's a difference between uh, righteous judgment and unright or excuse me righteous judgment and unrighteous judgment. And I will tell you that in a second that we have we have the power to rebuke and exhort and expose all the evil of this world. And if many people want to get hurt by it, it is better. And uh, my answer for you is Proverbs 27. Uh, six. It is better to hurt someone's ego for their ultimate good than it is to encourage them with lies out of the abundance to heart the mouth speaks. Okay. Um, and I wanted there was another scripture in twenty. Or excuse me. Um, in Proverbs, just give me one moment. Um, faithful. Get which verse it was. Faithful or the wounds of a friend. In Proverbs 27, verse 6. Oh. Maybe I gave that to you. I just didn't. Maybe I didn't say the right verse. But Proverbs 27, 6 goes as the kisses of an, of the enemy. Excuse me. Um, just give me for one moment. I have to click it. Uh, okay, here we go. Faithful or the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of the enemy are deceitful. All right, again, Proverbs 27, verse six goes as this. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. All right, so, um, and then 20, and Proverbs, excuse me, um, John, excuse me, John chapter uh, two, verse 15 and 16, talks about how we, we need to be out of the world, how we should be part of the world, because our this is not our world. We are here just to preach the gospel, We're here to do the things for God, for His honor, for His glory. Um, love, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If, the lo if, the, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, is not, not of the Father, but of the world. Okay, and um, it talks about, you know, I want to say this again, repentance. Is a change of mind, a change of heart, changing from our ways of the flesh to live entirely in the spirit. Not when pick and choose, but entirely in the spirit. Okay? And you can't hide your sins from God. You can't hide nothing from God. He knows you. He knows everything that you do and everything that you, you think. You can't hide any of it. So stop hiding your sins, trying to justify it, trying to cherry pick scripture. And, uh, Change your ways to the ways God intends. God intends. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by Him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? Not part of the way, nor part of the truth, nor part of the life. And um, I wanted to share with you how we have uh, righteous judgment. Okay? How we, you know, we have the, uh, we have to rebuke exhort and to expose all the evil of this world. Um, just give me one moment. Go. All right. Now there's a difference between righteous judgment and unrighteous judgment. In John chapter seven, verse 24, the Bible tells us to make righteous judgments. Right, in 2 Timothy four, verse two, the Bible tells us to reprove, rebuke, and exhort. In Titus chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible tells us 
um, to exhort and rebuke with all authority. Um, in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 5, the Bible says spiritual work in the, the Bible, excuse me, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 2, verse 5, the Bible says the spiritual person judges all things. Um, in, in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11, the Bible tells us to expose evil. Okay, and there's a whole book called Judges, too. If you have not checked it out, please check it out. All right. Um, so stand for Christ. Rebuke the evil. Um, and stop trying to justify your sins. And if you're gay, change from your... Because that's not you. Again, that's not you. You know, we don't fight against the flesh and blood. We fight against the spiritual wickedness of this world. We fight against the spiritual powers and the wickedness of this world. Okay. Um, and um, we need to forgive one another. And if you have any unforgiveness towards anybody, please forgive them. Move forward because that unforgiveness is going to hold you back. You know, if you can't forgive, then how can God forgive you of your transgressions? How can God forgive you of your iniquities if you're not being forgiving? God says we need to be forgiving, merciful, loving. But also, God, you know, God just has God has loved us. Okay, just as God has loved us, we need to love them. Do unto others as you would do unto yourself. And the greatest commandment is to love one another as I have loved you. Yes, rebuke the sins, but love the sinner. Because it's not them. It's not them. And if you... I really recommend that you stand up and to preach. Go on your Facebook. Go on your Instagram. Go on your Snapchat. Preach the gospel. Preach the gospel because those souls who are not saved... They don't want to be here during the in the tribulation period. So please reach out to them on social media, on any form of uh, YouTube. Make a video. Stand up for Christ. Stop being ashamed because he says if you are ashamed to preach, say my name, I'm going to be ashamed of you. And I'm going to be in my uh, face. But I, I don't remember the whole scripture, but that's how, it's, uh, how it says. If you are ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you. So don't be ashamed of the Father, because He loves you more than you can ever know, okay? Um, don't worry, don't fear, because that's what the only fear of God. That's the only thing you need a person you need to worry about, is your salvation and your relationship with God. Not worry, worry about what you think, or what, or what others may think about you, or what you may be putting on, or any of that, because don't even worry about tomorrow, because what tomorrow has enough worries of its own, okay? And uh, stop making the list of what you're going to do tomorrow. What's this going to do tomorrow? Um, what am I going to do in five days? What am I going to do in two days? None of that. Because we don't know. That's what the devil wants. He wants you to say, this is what God will lead you where you need to go. You're just going to have that faith. Okay. Trust in God with all your heart. Lean not onto your own understanding, but to God's ways. Lean not onto your own understanding. And trust in the whole, with full faith and trust in God. And we all go through seasons, just like this, you know, the winter, summer, spring, fall, just like how the earth goes about with seasons, right? Our, our, we're going to have seasons of blessings, but seasons of trial, seasons of long suffering, seasons of betrayal, seasons of hate, and whole, uh, thing, people just coming against us. But we got to trust in God for them. You got to keep holding the hand of God through whatever goes on in your life. Don't give up. Don't give up because your reward is much more in return if you just have faith in him. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And if you guys have not listened to Paul Wilbert, please listen to Paul Wilbert. He is amazing and uh, he's very anointed. And um, if you want a deliverance, uh, a friend of mine, and it's free, completely free, I really recommend it. It's not true. He doesn't charge you nothing. It's not like two grand where a lot of deliverance ministers pay you. Or excuse me, you have to pay them. He said, Jesus said, uh, what, uh, given charity, given freedom, given, given love. You're not doing that if you're receiving money because they, they're, the lust of money is the root of all bitterness and evil. Okay. And he does it for free. And, uh, he needs people who are really, truly going to want this deliverance. It's a, it's a literally like a, a weight lifted away from you. Okay. And many people think we're, we may not have another demons may come back in yes it's war it's war they're going to try to push you and push you and push you okay um but um 
trust in the Almighty God. And if you want to deliver, let's get you, let's get you a deliverance. But we need people who are truly going to go get it because the demons in them will try to push you away from it from the last second because he is a very powerful man in Christ. And um, um, I'm just so grateful that I can be the middleman for it. And uh, Christ also told me that I have uh, 15 crowns. So there's a uh, blessed Oh, blessings to God. Holy holy is his name and worthy is he to be praised. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to um, end with this video. Uh, excuse me, the end with this song to keep playing. So please comment down below. We can get you a schedule for you for a deliverance. All right. I love you guys. Jesus is coming soon. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sign.